Well, the video is so intense, so compelling, you can't look away. Officers tactfully charging into gunfire, mayhem, and chaos, all in an effort to save lives. Baltimore County, 911. What is the address? We, we, we just had a house blow up, and the, and the house next to it is on fire. There's a million people. I need you to get in the house, close the door, and duck below the windows. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. Go, 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 go. Move in, move in. You pass me, you pass me. Come on, give him quick, 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 quick. He's still got the gun, he's still got the gun. He's still got the gun. Police identify the gunman as 56-year-old Everton Brown, described by neighbors as paranoid that his house was constantly monitored and sometimes searched by the FBI and other federal agencies. They say he accused his neighbors of assisting them. According to police, Brown set fire to his own home, then opened fire on his neighbors. Red truck! Red truck! Red truck! Red truck! Red truck! We got a victim on the ground. Okay. A female. And she's got blood all in front of her. The victim is identified as Sarah Alicote. Police found she and Sagan Jamir shot to death outside. They discovered Ismail Quinatanella inside his home, shot and stabbed to death. He's still got the gun. He's still got the gun. He's still got the gun. Show me hands, 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 hands. He act like he's down. He still shoots. I'm sorry. Uh, I got to get away from my window. Gun next to him. Gun next to him. Gun next to him. Gun next to him. Careful. We got uh, a couple medics out here. Three people down. Three people down. The four officers who discharged their weapons remain on routine administrative leave. The police recovered Brown's gun, his knife, and several homemade bombs. You can see photos of them on our website at WBALTV.com. Reporting live from Woodlawn, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.